Um, now what I'm going to go on to, and my uh, window has just disappeared for that, and um, perfect timing, is a brand new type of solution for us, which is a pair of AR augmented reality glasses, which are very glass-like. So you may have seen some of the wearable video magnifiers we do that are either based on augmented reality glasses or mobile phone style uh, VR headset type devices. Um, but the one I'm going to show you today um, was only launched earlier this year. Um, and it's a very different use case for us. So vision aid, the clue is in the name. We, we normally help people with, with vision um, difficulties, um, although ergonomics and, and other parts as well that we get into. Um, but this is our first solution that can actually help for people with severe hearing loss or who are completely deaf. Um, and it actually came about through me seeing it at Site Village and trying it on our stand. This was the one in, Bir in um, yeah, Birmingham not long ago. Um, and we actually had a, a deaf person on, on our stand um, who was translating for a deaf blind lady um, who also then there were actually three of them. They needed a separate person to then translate um, from the deaf blind to the deaf person to then to actually be able to converse with me. And I said, well, would you, the deaf person who was, who was in the middle uh, after the demonstration, I asked um, as politely as I could whether she wouldn't mind trying these, um, put them on her and the, her face just sort of lit up when she could see exactly what I was saying without having to lip read. From me um so that's what really sort of spurred this on um so without uh, further ado I'll, I'll get to showing you them um so very quickly if i just switch here i hope this is going to work um they come in a very stylish kind of typical glasses case they're very available in two types so there is the tinted ones here which are a bit more like sunglasses so these will give you better contrast for seeing the integrated display that's inside these um but the key thing on these is how slim and light they are so they are 35 grams it's 1.2 ounces. Um, the battery in them will last for two full days of use, which in general terms means it's several weeks of actual use of them. If they're on permanently for two weeks, um, they'll last. Sorry, two days if, if the screen is on permanently. Um, and very simple. There's just a um, on-off button under here, which you also use for um, pairing via Bluetooth. Um, the opposite side, you have um, an LED underneath as well, which illuminates to tell you what mode the glasses are in. Green for paired and, paired and, and working. Blue flashing for pairing mode, for a Bluetooth, looking for a Bluetooth connection. Um, all sort of standard things that you'd expect. Um, and then the only other thing that's nice on it is it comes with a magnetic charger point. So it does have a customized cable, so you can't use a standard USB-C cable. And these are available as an accessory for about £20 if they get lost. But you literally hold it up to it and it magnetizes in, in place. Um, so really easy to connect. And then it's just, it doesn't come with a charger because it will work from charging from a computer or any other device. Um, it's quick to charge between one and two hours, depending on the charging speed of the device you have. And then, as I said, you get days and days of, of normal use from them. Um, this actually proved quite a challenge. And I was in the office until about half past nine yesterday, trying to get this to, to allow me to show you this as well as we possibly could. Um, and I hope it's going to work. So, um, because what, what this has got is a, you, there's a 30 degree field of view screen in the right eye. You might just be able to see on here a different sort of color shading uh, on that section on here. Um, when you're wearing them, um, you can't actually, if I sort of put them on, on there, you can't see when they're actually active. The, the screen appears green, but somebody looking at you can't see the text or any hint of green at all. So unless they look really close, they wouldn't know that you just weren't wearing a pair of sunglasses as I have here or normal glasses. Um, as I've got set up through the, um, the one of the other cameras that I'll hopefully show you in a minute. Um, the key thing with it is that um, there are prescription lenses. So I'm short-sighted. I need glasses to be able to see in the distance. So everything is now blurred. Um, but for £140 extra, you can have your own prescription put into them um, for that. So I may as well mention the price of the glasses as well. And AR glasses like this, and especially because of how light they are and the long battery life, they're not super cheap sort of £100, £200 devices, but they're also much lower cost than really high-end hearing aid solutions and visual impairment solutions. Um, these are 740 pounds, um, excluding VAT. So with the prescription, that puts it to sort of 880 if it's required on there. Um, so I'll actually, hopefully I'll show you the, the more interesting bit of actually them running. So I'll put those away gently. And bear with me a second. I'll go back to my camera on there. What I'm... Um, so on here. Right, hopefully <laughs> this is all going to work. Uh, 
So what I've got here is it on the iPad. Um, <clears throat> and what you're seeing on your screen at the moment, you've got me in the top right, the iPad, iPad iPhone that I've got here, um, and then the glasses view um, being shown through my, my mobile phone camera, um, which is propped up um, sort of in between them <clears throat> and the back of my head. <clears throat> so what I just want to do on here now, if I just go to captioning, uh, actually, I'll just do a quick test. Apologies on that. This was all working earlier, about 15 minutes ago. I wonder if the glasses have gone. No, it's connected. Ah, yes, I can see the text at the top. So if I go to, uh, on the app on here, this is a free app you can download uh, for Android or um, uh, iOS devices. And the key one for people who are hearing impaired will be the captioning app on here. So what you can do with this is you tap captioning on here. Obviously, you can have, uh, if you're visually impaired as well, you can have voiceover on, although we don't really foresee this being a solution that will work brilliantly for low vision users as well, because the screen, although it has a 30 degree field of view and the text is, is clear on it, um, it's not sort of like some of the VR headset units where you can get text really super bright and, and, and really large. Um, at the moment, they don't have the ability to customize the size of the text, and it is only green. Um, the reason they've chosen the green color is because that's what's used in heads-up displays on sort of fighter aircraft and uh, all heads-up displays tend to be green because that tends to give the best contrast on different backgrounds. Um, what I can do though, you've got, um, it's set to English and if I do start listening, hello, how is everyone doing today? I just need to move this off here so hopefully you can, oh yeah. Hopefully on, on the screen there you can see that what I'm saying is almost in real time being put onto the glasses that my uh, my mobile phone is looking through. So it's, it's, it's sort of delayed by maybe, ooh, I don't know what's that, one, between one and two seconds. Sometimes it's a bit quicker than that. But the key thing with this is it's using Google technology. So I've moved the phone off there. So this is the um, text it's recognizing, and then that just comes straight onto the glasses up there. Um, so you can imagine if somebody is deaf um, can't um, be in a position to lip read somebody. They might be too far away in a presentation or a meeting. Um, you can just very simply with your mobile phone, place that in the room. As long as the person's within microphone range, it will pick it up and then instantly put that onto the screen in front of them. Um, they don't, it hasn't sort of got so advanced so that you can have different speakers and it will do different um, fonts or brightnesses or um, sort of boldness or italics for, for the speakers, but there is talk of that happening. Um, and there are also a lot of work happening with AI apps now uh, for the voice recognition. So it's it's really as simple as that. You start the, the captioning app, click start listening uh, on the top, and it will then instantly be displaying what I'm saying on the screen. Um, you can have a bit of fun with it. I've done uh, obviously a bit of uh, French or German, uh, and it will do translation as well. So um, there's over 100 languages that it will translate. So I can do German, for example. This is me testing my memory. Uh, ah, no, German's not installed properly. I do French on there. Bonjour, comment ça va? So, hello, it just instantly translates that into English. It won't work now because I'm speaking in English and it can't translate that <laughs> into, um, into French. Um, but it, it, you've got the full list of languages available for here. You just have to do a one-time download on the language and then it's stored on the device. Again, there's no internet connection required for this, so it works when there isn't any. Um, but the more advanced ones coming with AI recognition, which are even better, um, will require an internet connection for that to function. Um, that's the main part for um, people who are hard of hearing or, or deaf, but you've got some extra bits as well, which is useful for everyone. So fitness ones, so you can obviously wear the glassing, glasses for when you're running, walking or cycling. Uh, and you can actually get directions on them as well while you're cycling. It integrates to Google Maps. And then, so if, even for cycling, you can be wearing the glasses. You don't want to be checking your phone while you're doing that. Um, you can then be, uh, it can help be helping you navigate um, without having to keep peering down at your phone. It'll just be appearing in the glasses. Um, there are some other ones that they're, they're working on, um, but again, they're not directly relevant to, um, uh, to deaf users. Um, but... It's quite exciting space, these, these augmented reality glasses. There are a lot of them coming out now um, with different functionality. Um, and it's going to be exciting to see exactly how they can help both visually impaired and, and deaf users. Um, that is kind of it. It's just a brief overview of that. 
um, and is a solution that can help if a deaf person doesn't have a sort of a sign language interpreter in between them. Um, this could potentially help. The one missing bit as well that um, we're quite excited about is there are apps coming up available so that if you've got a deaf person who's unable to speak because um, so they've been deaf from birth, then obviously they will sign to the person to reply to them. Obviously, you can type a reply on a, on a computer, uh, on, on your phone back to them, but that could be slow. Um, but there are, are now AI-based model sign language detectors as well available as apps so that if you just point the camera at the, pers the deaf person signing, they will then be able to get the text information back from that without having to, to have learned sign language. So that will then enable full communication from a deaf person to a, uh, a person who, who can't read sign language. Um, I would say that's going to be they're going to be around in the next sort of six to 12 months. Um, so quite exciting again. That is pretty much it. I don't think I've forgotten anything on that, Laura. Um, no, I don't think so, because it's quite a, a new product, isn't it? So we're learning as we go as well. We are, um, yes. But yeah, it's quite exciting. Um, but yeah, if there are any questions at all, then please pop them in the chat or you can always pop us an email and then we can find out for you. Yeah, great. Thank you. Um, obviously, if anybody wants to try these as well, I know timing is really difficult for assessments on there. Um, <clears throat> all the products we do have a 14 day money back guarantee anyway. So even if somebody does try them, and they don't work. They are returnable for DSA or um, access to work, although I appreciate that does come with difficulties on it. Um, but uh, if there is time and we're close by, we have uh, people that cover the whole of the UK, please let us know. And sometimes we can even squeeze some things in, as happened within sort of an hour or two, if we happen to be passing. Um, so if there's something you're not sure about, please do ask. And we're more than happy to, to not dr drop in and um, try and actually see the person so they can try them out themselves, which we know that always works the best if it's possible. Uh, right, moving on, that's that one uh, done. So that was the Z100. Um, I'm going to move on to the... Um, oh, sorry, one last thing I did want to mention. It is fully compatible with um, Bluetooth um, kind of speakerphone and microphone units. So this, we are looking at creating a bundle um, where you can have the glasses with this. We'd imagine it would be paired with one of these because you could put these at the front of the meeting or, or in the meeting room at the front of the uh, lecture hall if it's a, if it's a student or classroom. Um, and then obviously, because you don't want to be leaving your phone right down the front there where the microphone is, you simply pair these via Bluetooth, turn these on, the device automatically uses this. You can sit it at the front and then you've got kind of a 30, up to a 30 meter range on these. They work um, with kind of line of sight, which is what you'd expect in a classroom or a meeting room or a lecture theater. Um, so then you can just leave this bit down at the front. We're looking at smaller options as well um, for it. So um, we'll have more information on our website once we've um, sort of tested. We've tested multiple ones. This is the best one so far uh, and different style and size microphones as well. So do please just check our website for information on that. I'll show you quickly actually on here. And so um, what I did to, to be able to show the glasses is literally mount them uh, onto a tripod with a special mount uh, with my phone sitting behind it. So you have to get your eye obviously just in exactly the right position. Uh, my big hulking camera I've got here, um, sadly, I couldn't get it into position even with the arms removed. So um, the quality is much better than what you would have seen on the screen. It was just a limitation of how close I could get the camera and actually um, get it to line up. Um, so it, it is even sharper and clearer and, and more vibrant when it's actually just on your head <laughs> versus through my camera.